Hi guys, welcome back to Lisa Audio. This is Joyce, and as you guys can see, today I'm gonna introduce you the Kiwi Ears Quartet, and do an unboxing, review, and do some sound analyze. Especially there is a tuning switch here, and I'll show you guys how does it make a difference between the up and downs. Now let's do the unboxing first. Now I've finished the unboxing. Now here is all the accessory we've got. It's some um, three pair of ear tips and a black carrying case with a brand logo on it and the IM itself and one pair of cable. Let's start with the IM itself. Now show you guys the faceplate. Well, as you guys can see, this is um, a black shell mixed with the purple shell. And the purple, it's not too bright, so eventually it gives me um, elegant impression to me. And logo on the faceplate. And from this side, we can see a long and curved nozzle to fit our ear shape. So it's, I think that this design is re really, really ergonomic. So you can see all the waves here. And this mixture won't hurt your ear canal. And um, this part, we can see the tuning switch part, and I'll show you guys later how to use it. Each quartet unit is handcrafted using medical grade resin, and which is curved and polished to perfection. So, it's it, it can be described as both durable and safe for the skin. Here we got the two pin connector here. Uh, that allows connection with any other tubing cable. The Kiwi Ears Quartet is a 2DD plus 2BA hybrid IEM, and the 2DD stands for the dual 10mm titanium diaphragm drivers. The pair of drivers were designed around the new Isobrick double dynamic driver subwoofer and each independ independently driven by dual magnetic circuits and for extremely well extended sub bass kicks and this new subwoofer design it's it's tighter faster and deeper than any other previous woofer designs and the 2BA stands for the custom balanced amateur driver tuned to fit the quartet's dynamic driver for um, crisp and clean tone and detail highs without shrewdness or uh, fatigue and this driver were modified to fit the balance of new dynamic drivers by a tuned venting system to provide more airflow right now let's see the um how does we use the um tuning switch part so all we need is a precision tweezer uh, you guys might probably see this before now we switch the one to the down position like this the click now this will decrease the base emits and now let's put the two to the down position like this here the click so this will decrease the treble and let's take a deeper look at it it's actually no better than one two on and key this is how we do the tuning switches now let's move on to the cable part. We have a hook and loop to hold the cable. Let's undo it. It's a detachable high quality oxygen free silver plated copper cable. And it's really lightweight and allows noise free audio transmission. So it was light and comfortable for stage and portable use. Now let's see, it comes with a, um, a stable classic 2 pin and a one 3.5mm plug. And we have a plastic shell to protect it. And um, also we have an extra um, plastic to make sure the hook is really tough. So let's put it on the IM to see how does it look. Done, they matches really well. 
Now, it comes with three pairs of ear tips and each of them comes in three sizes so you guys can go tip rolling to find the most fit one for you guys. Now let's move on to the sound part. I'll show you guys the graph. As you guys can see, generally speaking, the quartet is a, it's a bassy IEM that it's suitable for bass guitars, drummers, and those who enjoy more bass in their music. You guys can see from the um, low frequency, the bass is really strong, and the bass is thick and has a good rumble with slower decays in which we're creating a good texture in the loads, and despite being Bassy. The bass is cut off at um, 450 Hz with a clear distinction between the bass and the mids. So this makes sure to, the mids are not too muddy, too muddy and even with the quantity of the bass. Depending on the switch settings, the treble on the quartet can vary from forward to relaxed and the quartet Quartet still has good treble presence which pre prevents the tonal signature from being too hazy or dark and these qualities makes the quartet great for those who want a lot of bass but still want to preserve the tonal balance and plus the addition of tuning switches allows the users to adjust their tuning to their preference. In my personal music listening experience, I listen to various music types like um, some hip hop, the R&B, or um, some rap music, and um, even some K-pop and many other types of music. Yes, but the impression it gives to me that the male vocals are really rich and thick, yet the treble part remains really clear and detailed. As you guys can see, there are um, um, different colors of the lines that shows how the differences the tune switches make. So the first switch changes the gain of bass and mids, and putting switch 1 to the down position will decrease the bass and mids while keeping the treble the same. And this causes a linear tone with more um, prominent treble presence and um, let's take a look at the second switch. The second switch changes the treble output while keeping the bass and mids the same. Putting switch 2 to the down position will decrease the treble by like 3 dB and while making the bass and mids the same. And this makes the tonal signature more relaxed. And my preference my preferred switch settings are the um, up down or up up position and uh, this creates the most balanced tonal signatures. So this is so much about today's review of the quartet. If you guys love my content, please subscribe to our channel. We provide weekly reviews and if there is any other specific products that you guys want me to do the review of, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.